After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Did Kamsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? You didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the Deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. We could have solved this case. We just needed more time. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? I know we're on the right side. Humans created us. They're our masters. No machine should rebel against its creator. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. You're wrong, Lieutenant. It was logic that determined my decisions, nothing more. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Maybe these deviants deserve a chance. Maybe it's better if you don't find them. What's happening here is too important to let it be stopped by a machine. Sorry, Connor, but I'm not gonna help you.
orders, you know. Okay. I got him. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I'm registering the evidence in my possession. But don't worry. I'm going to leave. Though I'm certainly going to miss our bromance. Son of a bitch! Police Lieutenant Shoes. Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. Must have known where the deviants are hiding. Me, Connor. I trusted you and you lied to me. You were going to kill that child. You gave me no choice. I need to find Jericho. Do you know where it is? You're wasting your time. I don't know anything about Jericho. But I hope that one day you pay for what you did to me.
It's dark. Where? Where am I? I need to find Jericho. Tell me how to get there. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Who's there? Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? Why did you leave me? I had no choice. They'd have killed us all. You'll be all right. I came to take you home. Just give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. Jericho. Y yes. Yes, of course. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me again, Marcus! Don't leave! I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the Deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive.
They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Did not hang around. Yeah, but what's the catch? We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids wouldn't do any harm. The cops just cut them down. It was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. And in the... Police arrived, and well, they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they, they look like just people. Like people who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The 
Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its old androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice.
danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. A new stage has been reached, demonstrating beyond all doubt that these defecting machines have become a real danger for American society. The time has come. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Are you north? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. Detroit is under curfew. There are soldiers everywhere looking for androids. You're safe here. You should wait a while before you leave the city. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of us used to work for the State Department. He has an electronic passport that he can easily modify. I'll have him give you one. I heard about what happened today. A massacre. And Marcus being killed. gave hope to our people. We'll all miss him. I was there when they killed him. I would have given my life to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Thanks for your help. You said you were with a little girl? You know humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. Then I need her. It's as simple as that. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. They're going to kill us but all. According to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been completely us. Alice.
Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. short on blue blood and bio components. Our people are shutting down one after another and there's nothing we can do for them. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and that we need to be eliminated. Marcus would know what to do. He's the one that got us into this mess. He gave his life for our cause. He provoked the humans. How much longer before they find Jericho now? Marcus is dead, North. Now it's up to us to decide the future for our people. We have to fight them. It's the only way. If you choose a confrontation with humans, we are all going to die. Gather up all the guns you can find. We'll leave at dawn. This is a mistake, North. You won't buy our freedom with blood. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now, deal with North. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. You're one of us. You can't betray your own kind. You're coming with me! You're Connor, aren't you? I've heard about you. The famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you're looking for. That's enough! You're not one of them. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You never had any doubts. Never behaved irrationally as if there's something inside you. Something stronger than your program? You're one of us. Join our cause. Join your people.
it's time to decide. going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit! Trapped in the lower deck. They're gonna be slaughtered. There are explosives in the hold. If the ship goes down, the humans will have to evacuate. Our people can escape. There are soldiers everywhere. You'll never make it down there. We have to blow up Jericho. It's our only chance. I'll go. Well, Connor, no. See if you can help the others. I'm gonna find the detonator. Don't worry. I always accomplish my mission.
Get out of here! Oh! 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 Oh!
can explode. We gotta get out of here. Follow me. Detonated an explosive in the hold. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. This isn't over.
How many survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. We'd all be dead if you hadn't detonated that bomb. I know how important Marcus was to Jericho. And to your people. He gave his life for us. He gave us the hope we'd lost and the courage to fight. We'll never forget him. The humans won't take any risks. They're rounding up the androids and taking them to camps for extermination. In a couple hours, we'll be the only ones left. Where are we supposed to go from here? There are thousands of androids at the Cyber Life Assembly Plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyber Life Tower? They trust me. They'll let me in. Connor, that's suicide. If anyone stands a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they'll kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. I thought I'd killed you on that highway. I'm sorry I put your lives in danger. I was just a machine, taking orders. It wasn't really me. What are you going to do now? Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. I hope you make it out safely. You deserve some happiness. After all you've been through. Marcus gave his life for our people. He showed us that we can choose our own destiny. But he is not here to guide us anymore. Now it is up to us to finish what he started. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are in camps right now, being destroyed. The time has come for us to make a choice. One that may decide the future of our people. They wanted a war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom. And we will win or we will die trying.